Like this is Marky Mark, and this is Marky Mark's backyard bow shooting number 10. Uh, number 9 got kind of cut off because my phone died, so but I continue with, uh, with 10. Today we're featuring my one and only compound, which is a Ben Pearson, and this is a youth bow. But uh, I was looking at the numbers on it, and it's a 40 pound at 23 inch draw with a string length of 30. So this is actually more powerful than the other bows I have. I mean, the one is a 35 and the other one's a 37, so pretty close. This thing's um, pretty, dang, pretty dang powerful, and also I have these new features I added on. Um, this I haven't adjusted correctly, this viewfinder thing. I don't know. I don't know if they even have enough yardage to even work with it. So I got this stabilizer, and I got this whisker biscuit on there. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, you know. It's for a youth bow. It's pretty powerful. Um, the guy at the bow shop said, yeah, this thing could kill a deer, but it's not really meant for somebody my size. It's meant for a kid or a lady, so. But, hey, it'll work. So, in honor of bow season, I thought I'd bring this out and give her a try. All right, and we're shooting at my target down range. And, uh, all right, let's let him fly. And we're using the same practice I do with the, the um, vintage bows. The release and everything. It's a good, good uh, opportunity for me to work on my releasing. Here it goes. Ooh, I'm a little bit left of the target. Our target spot. So I say it's... I'm aiming for uh, the 30, which is the second dot of. This thing has a nice uh, thing. You can stabilize it. It's good and take your time aiming. Ooh, I'm a little bit left. Oh, I'm a little closer to it, but not on it all the way. Love the whisker biscuit. This is so nice versus the other rest. Ooh, that was a bad shot. All right. There we go. Ooh, I'm right underneath the, the golden one. Ooh. See how this one flies. Got little gnats out here that bite. I don't know what where they came from, but oh my gosh, they're up. I think it's something to do with the, the being fall. And they're just out and about wreaking havoc on people. Ooh. Hey, dead center, but didn't get any one of the... <laughs> ah, jump arrow. Come there. Stupid knock. Oh, wow. The bug got on my arm was biting me. Ooh. Wow. That was a bad shot. Ooh. That's a good shot. That's better again. Hi there. Ooh, good one there. This is a 40 pound draw, so it's it's hitting that target pretty hard. Ooh, any more? Ah, junk arrow. Alright, let's go see how we did. Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> Trying to grab this thing with a... Oh, my grouping is wonderful. Well, it's better than... Got two 25s up here, almost in the 100 range. That's pretty cool. I mean, this thing's pretty accurate. This is 25. I was going for 30 and I missed it, but that grouping's pretty tight. But, all right. All right, let's do it again. Set number two. Good so, guys, I'm aiming for the center, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if the knocking point in this is very good. Obviously. Oh, when I get a bug on my neck, it starts biting me. Oh yeah, I got a 30 there. It's a, it's a white dot. Yeah, that was bad. That was a bad one. It's like, when I was releasing the arrow, it just kind of... Ow! He whiffed. This, this bow seems to like the smaller carbon arrows a lot better. They fly better with this bow. The bigger ones. I mean, they go through the whisker biscuit, but... Ugh. That's not. Wow. I think that arrow is actually done. That's the second time it's done that. Maybe it's just that. Maybe it does prefer the carbon. Ah, let's go see how we did. That's a little bit better. Well, I don't know. It seems to like the carbon express arrows. Um, they seem to fly a lot better. But, all right, let's get them worked out. Mm, except for round three. All right, let's see what she does.
Let's see how we do. I'll turn this grouping off. That's not bad. The grouping here is really good. The tight grouping, well, not too tight. It's pretty good. All right. I'll set that up and get these out. Oh, that's good. Oh, shoot, I'm still recording. Pull these out like this. Now, if this is available, definitely would be dead. You got that much penetration, that's definitely enough to kill something. That's pretty good. Pretty good shooting. Um, that was an animal that definitely would be dead. I mean, the grouping isn't bad, bad. That's all in the mass, mostly in the mass. So, yeah. That was an animal, it would be, it would be dinner. So, alright. I need one more set now. Call it quits on that. We'll wrap it up. Yeah, this camera mount is really messed up. The dog was messing with my camera mount when she was out here. Good. You see where I'm shooting from? Oh, baby. <clears throat> I'm getting you know, that, much pen that much penetration. Oh, and that much, that's a bit of art. It's a brand new target, too, so that stuff is hard. That's going in there pretty good. Alright, we'll do one more set. Wrap it up. This bow is really accurate if you learn how to use the aiming tools. It's on the bow, the viewfinder. It'd really be deadly. All right, wow, we this was one good set. Wow, I'll let you see this one. What I did, I'm well trying to use this. Oh, can you even see it? That three pin thing. What I did is I basically took that and I aimed it that bottom pin, which it's supposed to be from 30 yards, 40 yards, and 50 yards. They said the bottom pin is supposed to be the farthest target. I don't understand how you're supposed to adjust this dumb thing because any lower it's gonna be hitting the arrows as they fly out of that whisker biscuit. But I was shooting like, well, I was before I was hitting there and I was getting almost, well, I was getting shots way down there. I was aiming maybe a quarter of an inch above that. Like not doing it. Around this thing, about middle of my wooden target. And I hit the 25 mark here. One, two, three, four times. And then this guy, above almost the 100 mark, 
I was aiming the top of the wood target with that bottom thing, and I was almost able to hit this guy. So that grouping is really good. It's nice and it's tight. And another thing I tried to do on this is I tried to use the leveler, which, yeah, that level, tried to keep it nice and level so that I released. I, uh, I just let him fly, you know, and uh, I tried also lining the string up with the arrow and everything to keep it level. That's one of the beauties of having a compound is that when you do aim, I mean, as long as everything lines up. I mean, on most bows, compounds, they, they have something called an eye hole that you look at and it's on the string, which just doesn't have one, so it's all like you're guessing. <laughs> just, it's from feeling, and I love the whisker biscuit because the arrows just fly right out of there. And there's no dragging or deflection, and they all fly pretty straight, obviously. The traditional bow, um, every time I shoot with those, a lot of the arrows fly in different directions, like your tail would be really high or whatever, but yeah, these are pretty dead on, dead on accurate. And I was just learning how to aim with it, and maybe possibly getting it sighted in by a professional or someone that knows how to, you know, adjust these, but, <laughs> so I don't know, this is a dumb thing, I mean, I don't know if that's even on the right, that's probably what it is, it's probably mounting bolts, I probably have it in the wrong position, but, uh, all right, I'm gonna hang it up here, and, uh, hope y'all enjoyed watching, this is Marky Mark, uh, back here bow shooting number 10, hope y'all enjoyed, and, uh, hope y'all get out there and enjoy the weekend, peace, God bless, Marky Mark, Ow! Yeah.